Alrighty, here for another lesson. Lesson four in module five has a pretty simple and straightforward objective. We're gonna use multiplication to calculate volume. So we've had our little cubes and we've been building and now we're gonna move on from the all the little stuff, uh, the realia and using our hands to working this through with math. It's quite simple. So as soon as you can, memorize this formula. Okay, formula for volume is V equals L times W times H. What does that stand for? Volume, if you wanna find this, you have to take the length, multiply it by the width, and then multiply that by the height, okay? So you never really see this written out. It's just gonna be V for volume, L for length, W for width, H for height. Now that's probably the last time you'll see it written out, except for right here below. So what else could complicate matters? Well, if they don't give you the length and the width, but they give you the area of the base, which today you will get that measurement. So if they say, okay, we're gonna give you the area. <laughs> well, thank your lucky stars and clap for them because they just did the multiplication of these two numbers for you. So all you have to do is take that answer that they gave you and multiply it by that third dimension, the height. Okay, so we cheer when we see the area of the base is already given. They've done one step of the multiplication. You just have to do that next step, okay? Now remember, important today, any face can be a base. So when we had our figures that we built on the previous lesson, if I had all yellow and then I turn it and then you can't see the yellow, you can only see the purple, Okay, that's because I made the yellow the base. But if you turn it up so that the walls are this way, then I've got a yellow wall and a purple wall. Well, the base is gonna be the row of the yellows and purples on the bottom. So any face can be a base. You just have to turn, 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 turn. Turn your figure so that the third dimension is the one that is not used in the length times the width. Okay, so that's really what the notes are for today and then we'll get right into the book so open up your learn book this is lesson four um, I think I'm using an old book <laughs> so you can't really trust my page numbers anyway lesson four problem set so it's really nice and easy when we start out because they're still showing us all these cubes and so although sometimes people will get off track when they count don't get off track when you count and it's super um, basic, we just go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you can label these if you wish, but they really want you to put the numbers right here. And then the width, I typically go with this one if you have to uh, try to be consistent. So that is two. And then the height, I do always try to have the up down measurement be the height. And so now you multiply, we're gonna do the length and the width, always try to multiply the length and the width first, that's gonna be 10, and then 10 times two is 20. And if you need to do any calculations out here, you can do that, but it starts out pretty straightforward. Let's do it again. We have three here, two here, and four here. Counting correctly is really important. So if you need to put numbers in them, like one, two, three, you can do that. But remember, you also have to count the side of this front cube because this is fully taking up one cube space on that corner as well as in the front, okay? And then you have to count again. So if the length is three, the width is two, and the height is four, when you multiply these two, you get six, and six times four is 24. So it's kind of a fill in the blank, know your multiplication. Here we have four. Here we have two, and here we have four again. And so we have four, two, four. These two are eight. Eight times four is 32. And then this one has four here and three here on this width measurement and three for the height. So four, three and three and this one these two would be 12 and 12 times three is 36. So 
it's just pretty much counting, filling in the blanks. But you get down here to the bottom and it says write a multiplication sentence that you could use to calculate the volume for each rectangular prism in problem one. Um, so these are all for problem one. So you're going to go to problem A and then you're going to take these measurements up here and you're going to put them in a sentence. Well, what is a sentence? It just means that you have all the parts, you have the factors that you're multiplying because it's a multiplication sentence. So it's going to be 5 times 2 times 2. And then you're going to actually put the equals and the answer. Okay. And it says include the units in your sentences. So what you want to have is 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters equals 20 centimeters cubed. And so this is how you should start setting things up, but they also want you to include the units in your sentences. Okay, let's do B. So I have three, check the units, these are all centimeters, so it's pretty straightforward. Three centimeters times two centimeters times four centimeters equals, we already have the answer, 24 centimeters cubed. Okay, next one, C is four centimeters times two centimeters times four centimeters equals 32 centimeters cubed. And finally, four centimeters oops, times three centimeters times three centimeters equals 36 centimeters cubed. Okay, pretty easy. Let's just crank that out, turn the page. So again, we're using multiplication to uh, find these answers. And so what happens as we kind of progress is that you will no longer see all the cubes, which is actually, I think, kind of easier because then it, it's not so cluttery in the drawing. So we're going to take these and we have to find the volume and this is going to be for your answer. So you can do any work you want to do over here. And I always like to set up the formula and then plug in the numbers. So that was just one thing I always have taught my students, write the formula down and plug in the numbers. Length times width, we're gonna go with whatever is the base. And so it's gonna be a four times three times the height, which again, you want the one that goes up and down. And I, I don't put the units until we have to. Okay, because it clutters up my work. Okay, so 12 times 4 is 48. Now that I know what the numbers are, I can go forward and put my actual number sentence uh, with the units. Okay, so it's going to be 4 inches times 3 inches times 4 inches. Okay. And so the volume is going to be 48 inches cubed. So now I have my number sentence, got it, and I have my answer. Okay, so you can have two things. If you want to have it float up here and then put your volume on land, I don't care. It does not matter. Next one, I know what the formula is. Length times width times height. If you don't know anything else, put the formula down. Okay. Now, area of the base right here. The length times the width, three times two. What's the height? Six. Solve. Six times six, get 36. They want that fancy number sentence with all the units. So volume equals three meters times two meters times six meters. And then the final volume is 36 meters cubed. Okay? Let's move on to the next one. All right, Tyrone is constructing a box in the shape of a rectangular prism to store his baseball cards. It has a length of 10, a width of seven, and a height of eight. What is the volume? So volume is length times width times height. If you don't know anything else, write down the formula and then you can plug in your values and the length, and they give everything to you right here, put it in for each letter. 
length is 10, width is 7, height is 8. Start multiplying. When you have 7 times 8, you get 56. You also have this 0 in the 1's place, so we have 560. So in fancy um, labeling, it's going to be 560. What is the unit? Go check it. Centimeters cubed. And that is the volume of the box. And we're on the last problem. These seem to be rather short. Might be the shortest video ever. Aaron says more information is needed to find the volume of the prisms. Explain why Aaron is mistaken and then calculate. Explain and calculate the volume of the prisms. Like I said in the notes, if they give you the area of the base and they've already solved the length times the width for you, a little celebration is in order. Yay, they gave us the area already. Now, what did they give us the area of? That is gonna be the question, okay? Sorry, I'm gonna turn this so that my book will fit better on here. So that's the question. So check out how it changes. This one is the face or the base. There are lights. Hey, you can still see the green. That's cool. Um, this is the face that they're using. Now, how can you get the area of this face? Well, you have to use a long side and a short side. So what you can see is that they, whatever these are, they amount to 60. And so if the volume is the length times the width times the height, and they already solved this, you just need this other dimension that wasn't used. So which one is that? It's this, okay? So that's the one that you have to calculate. You have to figure out, well, if I'm rolling this and this is my base, okay, so you roll it forward, use this as the height. And then you can multiply volume equals 6 times 5. Don't don't lose track of your zeros. 6 times 5 is 30, and this extra zero is here. So it's going to be whatever your units are, 300 centimeters cubed. Be sure and label properly. Oh, and be sure and click subscribe. The little button right on the bottom, right below, right there. Click subscribe, and you can get notified when I upload a new video. Now on this one, the area of the base that they're using is not the front face, it is the top. Now on a rectangular prism that will also reflect the bottom. So it's length times width. It's got to be the two pieces that are on either side of the base. Okay, now that's also on the bottom but you can't see it so they want to do it on here. Now the side that they didn't calculate is this one or I should do it in orange, this one. Okay, so if you use your formula, length times width times height, they already are giving you the length times the width. You just need to plug in this other number. Okay, and so if you have 20 times 12, it's really just two times 12, which is 24 and then don't forget to include that zero. So the volume is 240, what's your unit? Inches cubed. I seriously think that is the fastest video. <laughs> One of the shortest. I will see you guys on the next video, bye.